Welcome to MAT 2LB booklet number three, decimals, percent, and tax, lesson number six, calculating tax. So this is the grand finale of booklet number three. When we talk about tax, what we're talking about is, in Ontario anyway, the HST or the Harmonized Sales Tax, which represents a 13% surcharge on goods and services that you buy here in Ontario. So that's just really a fancy way of saying every time you get charged for something in Ontario, a certain amount, 13% tax, gets charged to you and added back onto the original item. So if you are charged, well, let's take a look at example one. We'll see an example of this in context. So when you buy a DVD, for example, you pay HST. So let's say that you have a DVD. It costs $26.20. That's an odd amount for a DVD. Nonetheless, let's have a look at it. If we wanted to calculate how much HST or tax is going to be applied to that DVD, we start by converting our percent, which is 13%, into a decimal by dividing by 100. We've done this in a couple of lessons now, and dividing 13 by 100 gives us 0 decimal 1, 3. From there, we take the decimal, 0 decimal 1, 3, and we multiply it by whatever the cost is of the item that we're paying HST on. In this case, it's a DVD. It's going to be multiplied by $26.20, and that's what we type into our calculator. So decimal one three times $26.20. Now that's going to give us three decimal four zero six. Now this gives us an opportunity to do some rounding. Because we're talking about money, in the context of this question, we want to round to the nearest cent. So if we look at our 3.406 and we want to round it to the nearest cent, cent is right here, happens to be a zero. When we're rounding to a place value, we look to the digit after it, in this case it's going to be a six, and we see what type of rounding it's asking us to do. In this case, we are being asked to consider a six. A six is going to ask us to round that zero up. So we are going to end up with $3.41 as our HST, which we are going to write in this spot right here. So the HST on a DVD that costs $26.20 is $3.41. That's 13% of $26.20. Okay, let's try calculating some HST on a couple other items. We'll try one more together and then you can try one too. All right, let's find the HST on a t-shirt that costs $15.50. Our first step is to convert our HST percentage, which is 13, into a decimal by dividing by 100, and that's going to give us 0 decimal 1, 3. Now we take that decimal, this is step number two, and we multiply it by whatever the cost of the item is that we're trying to buy. In this question, it's a t-shirt that costs $15.50. And that's what we're going to type into our calculator. Decimal 1, 3 times 15.50. And that's going to give us 2 decimal 0, 1, 5. And once again, we're in a position where we need to round to the nearest cent. So we are going to locate cents. The digit in the cent place value is a 1. We look to the digit after it, or to the right of it, and it's a 5. The 5 tells us that anything 5 or greater, we're going to round up, so we're going to round that 1 up to a 2. So our HST on that t-shirt is going to be $2.02. .02. So let's try, let's get you guys to try B here on your own. I'd like you to hit pause. Again, the steps are to convert your HST percent into a decimal. Multiply that decimal by whatever the cost of the item is and then make sure that you round it to the appropriate place value, which when we're talking about money is going to be cents. So hit pause, give this one a try, and come on back and we'll see how you did. All right, you're back. Let's start by converting our HST percentage into a decimal. We have 13 divided by 100 will give us 0 decimal 1, 3. If that step is starting to be repetitive, you can just uh, do it really quickly, even without using your calculator. Step number two is to take that decimal, 0 decimal 1, 3, and multiply it by whatever the cost of the item is. So in this question, we're talking about a CD that costs $21.99. And that's what we type into our calculator. Point 0 decimal 1, 3 
times 2199, and that's going to give us 2.8587. Yuck, a lot of numbers. We want to round this one to the nearest cent, which is the hundredths place value. So in this question, that's held by a 5. We look to the digit after it, to the right of it, which is an 8. And 8 tells us that we are going to round up. So the HST on that CD is $2.86. So that's how you go about calculating the HST, or the tax, on an item that you're going to purchase. But what if we want to know not just the HST, but the final price that you pay? So if you step up to the counter at your favorite neighborhood store and you buy a CD, how much is it actually going to cost you? Not just the HST, but the whole package. So tax gets added back to that original price of the item. So let's tackle that in example number two. Calculate the total price with tax of a video game that costs $39.50. First step's the same as always. If we're trying to calculate the HST, we want to take the HST percentage, which is 13, divide it by 100, which gives us 0 0.13. Step number two, we're trying to figure out the HST now. We take that decimal, 0 0.13, multiply it by the price of the item. We're talking in this question about a video game that costs $39.50. That's what we type into the calculator to find HST. So 0 0.13 times $39.50, and that gives us 5.135. So, need to do some rounding. The place value that we want to round to is held by a 3. We're going to look to the number after it or to the right of it. It is a 5. It tells us that we are going to round that value up, so that is going to become $5.14. All right, we're looking good. Now the new part. We're going to add the tax back to the original cost. So let's write this tax in. That's going to be $5.14. And we are going to now add it to the original price of the video game, which is $39.50. And when we add those two numbers together, that's what we're going to type into our calculator. 5.14 plus $39.50. That's going to give us a whopping $44.64, which is what you'll be charged at the cash when you go up to buy your video game, $44.64. Okay, we're going to do two more examples here. Now we're trying to look not just for the HST, but for the final price. So we'll do A together. Total cost of a jacket that costs $45. We know HST is a fixed amount. It's going to be 13%. So we take our 13 divided by 100, that's going to give us 0 0.13. We multiply our decimal by the cost of the item, our jacket, which is $45. That's what we type into our calculator. 0 0.13 times 45 gives us $5.85. No rounding required this time, that's awesome. This is the new step. We're going to take our HST, which is $5.85, and 85 cents, and we are going to add it back to the price of the jacket, which is $45. That we type into our calculator, $5.85 plus $45 gives us a final tally of $50.85 for our jacket. Okay, let's try B. I'm going to get you to hit pause and try this one on your own. We're after a set of shoes that costs $95.88. When you think you know the total cost of the shoes with tax, come on back. We'll see how you did. Okay, grand finale. We are going to start by taking our 13% and expressing it as a decimal. We do that by dividing by 100, giving us 0 decimal 1, 3. We take the decimal and multiply it by whatever the cost of the item is we're going to buy, which is $95.88 for the shoes. This we are going to type into our calculator, and we get $12 followed by 4644. Four. Okay, we need to round this time. So we're looking for the hundredths or cent place value. That's held by a 6. We look to the number after it, which is a 4. A 4 tells us we are not going to round up, we are going to round down, which means keeping it the same. We have $12.46 HST. 
Last step now is to take our HST, which is $12.46, and add it back to the cost of the shoes. And that was $95.88. And when we add those two together, so $12.46 plus $95.88, we get $108.88. And 34 cents for a beautiful pair of shoes. So this is the end of lesson number six and it's the last lesson in this unit. There are some additional steps in this process so if you need to go back and try some of these questions again in this lesson please do so. If you're ready for the worksheet head over there and best of luck on the unit assessment.